Hello there and welcome to PGA Tour 2K21. My name is John and my job is to get you swinging that club like a pro in as little time as possible. Let's crack into it. To begin your swing, pull back on the left stick. When your golfer reaches the top of their backswing, push the stick forward to swing. Nice work. After each shot, you will get feedback as to how accurate your shot was in the bottom right-hand corner. In the middle of that circle, there's a white stripe, and that is your swing plane, and that is where your swing needs to live. The more difficult the shot, the more narrow your swing plane will be. That's what we're looking for. And you're also going to receive feedback on your swing timing, and that's the meter that kind of wraps around the top of your swing accuracy indicator. Your backswing timing refers to the point at which you transition from backswing into downswing. If you do this too early, you're going to reduce the power of your shot. If you do it too late, you're going to add power but increase the difficulty of the swing. You're down. Good job. That's what we're looking for. Congratulations. You've got the in this lesson, we're going to talk about one of the most important skills you can have at your disposal, and that is putting. Now, to begin your putt, pull back on the left stick. The farther you pull back, the stronger your putt will be. When you feel you've got the power right, that was well done. Now, getting your putt strength just right comes down to feel at the end of the day, and each green can feel different. You can keep an eye on your putter's max distance in the top right to get an idea of what the current green speed is. This putt is just a few inches downhill, so use that right stick to move the putting marker just in front of the hole, and then ease up on your putt and let gravity do the work for you. Not quite. Uh, let's reset. Try again. Well, you've got that one down. Those moving dots on the grid are telling us that your putt is going to break to the right, so you're gonna have to aim to the left to compensate. Use the right stick to adjust your aim before putting so that you can drop this one in the hole. And let's just go ahead and try that again, okay? Hmm, not quite. Let's try that again. Good job on that one. And with that, you are ready to tear it up out there on the greens, metaphorically speaking. Hello and welcome to this lesson where we will talk about clubs and shot types. I am going to show you how to make the most of what's in your golf bag with a few simple tricks. Okay, so for this shot, you're hitting into the wind. This means you are going to have to club up, or in other words, use a longer club. So let's press the change club button until you get to the pitching wedge, then just pop this shot onto the green. Let's uh, just go ahead and give that another try. Uh, 
All right, that didn't pan out. Let's give it another go. That's the stuff. Now it's only a matter of time before you find yourself in a situation where the normal shot type is just not going to do. Now to get on the green from here, you are going to need a chip shot. So let's press the change shot type button until you get to the chip shot and then chip that ball nice and close to the pin with your next stroke. Well done on that lesson. Information about the current lie of your ball is available always in the top right corner of the screen. This will give you a range of how much spin and power your shot will retain, and then you can use that info to adjust your shot accordingly. For this particular situation, let's change our club to the sand wedge, and then change our shot type to a splash shot, which is a great shot for getting out of these greenside bunkers. After that, give that swing a go. See if you can stick it close. Eh, not quite. Let's try that one again. Hmm, not, not quite there, is it? Let's try again. Not quite, let's reset and try again. All right, that didn't pan out. Uh, let's try that again. Well, you've got the hang of this one. And now that you Hello there, and welcome to the lesson on advanced shots. In this lesson, we're gonna learn about techniques you're gonna wanna master if you want to compete with the pros. Let's begin. In this situation, we are going to need to take a partial swing. If you chip this with full power, it's going to blow right by the hole. So we are going to have to move our aim marker closer to us to compensate. Move the aim marker a little bit closer to you. See if you can get about a 75% power chip. And then use the back swing meter at the bottom of your screen. Great work. Looks like you've got the hang of that. Manually adjusting the loft of your shots is going to help you get that ball closer to your target. The catch here is that changing your loft also increases the difficulty of your shot. Hold the shot shaper button and press the right stick up to increase your loft. Land this shot near the cup. Your increased loft is going to give that shot a little backspin. It's going to keep that ball from rolling off the green. Well, that didn't work. Let's try that one again. Well, that didn't quite pan out. Let's uh, give that another go.
We'll chalk that one up as a success. Applying a fade or a draw to your shot can really open up some stroke-saving shortcuts. And you guessed it, this will also increase the difficulty of your shot. Hold down the Shot Shaper button and press the right stick to the left, and then land this shot on the left side of the driving range. Uh, how about we try that again? 